In this video, we will discuss patching fixtures within Mosaic Designer 2. Once you've placed all of your fixtures on the Layout tab, and you've associated to a physical controller, it's time to start patching. To enter the Patch menu, select the tab on the left-hand side. By default, you'll start with DMX patching. If you wish to use a different protocol, you can add the different protocols at the top by selecting New Universe. When you select that, you'll get a window to add whatever universes you wish. So for instance, I'm going to add universe 1 here. I can type in 1 and hit Add. I now have two tabs at the top, DMX and SACN. If I want to add an additional universe or range of universes, all I need to do is go back to New Universes and add more. So for instance, if I want to add universes 2 through 4, I can simply type in 2-4 and hit Add. I now have universes 1, 2, 3, and 4 that I can scroll through. If at any time I want to jump to a specific universe, I just type in the number. Here's 1. Once I type in the number, it will scroll to that location. To patch a fixture, I select it from my list and drag it into my patch area. Once I release, that fixture will patch there. If I want to patch a fixture to multiple addresses, I can repeat this process. It's going to give me an alert saying that I am trying to patch this fixture more than once. Do I want to continue or do I want to move? In this particular example, I will continue so that I have multiple fixtures patched to different addresses. If I want to patch a range of addresses, I can select multiple fixtures using either the Shift or Control keys and drag them in. If I want to patch all of my fixtures, I can select a group and drag in that entire group. Notice this does give you the ability to span multiple universes. It's highly suggested that you create groups to assist with the patching process. On the right-hand side, we have some universe-wide options. We can unpatch, copy, paste, or delete a universe. So if I've patched my universe 2, and then I realize I actually want that in universe 3, I can copy that universe, scroll down to universe 3, and paste it. I'm then given that same option whether I want to move and unpatch the existing or if I want to patch a duplicate. I'll unpatch the existing and watch it move now. If I decide I don't actually need anything in Universe 2, I can delete the entire universe. Mosaic Designer 2 also gives us the ability to set SACN priority on a channel or universe level. To set the universe priority, I have an option right at the top of each universe. If I want to set this on a channel level, I can select the channel and set its priority at the top. If I change this to be anything different than the universe priority, I have the option to take it directly back to the universe priority. If you are working with multiple controllers in your Mosaic project, you can switch between them using the Change Controller option at the top. Once you select this, a list of your controllers will be displayed. If I switch to a different controller, I can then add new universes and patch channels on this controller. Once you've patched all of the fixtures in your project, it is recommended that you upload to your controller. We'll talk about how to do that in a different video.